Okay, we do raise panels with wood because wood's a natural material that it expands and contracts with the weather and the humidity. So if you have a solid wood panel that's glued up and fixed on both ends, it'll crack down the middle at some point. A raised panel is a rail and style system, holds the panel suspended. A rail and style system allows the panel to move back and forth and yet be securely held by the rails and styles. Here, the whole procedure of picking out panels in English walnut is a little challenging. English walnut is not really known for being wide. It's known for being a, a very highly figured wood. We happen to be doing what we call cathedrals, which means that they have the grain lays out like this. It looks like it's creating an arch. Normally, we point that in an upward direction. Um, the black lines are generally where I'm going to cut. They're all oversized still. So I'll check my numbers one more time to make sure they're, they're not too small. And then I'll um, do the irreversible step of cutting them. Because of the way the wood twists and because of how wide it is, it won't go across our jointer. So we have to sort of flatten it out before I push it through the planer. belt sander with 80 grit paper on it and then I'm going to switch to 120 grit and then we'll be ready to cut in the size. Okay, I'm calling that two and a half thousandths heavy and I'm calling that okay. Next, I'm going to take them and put a straight edge on all three of these panels so I can rip them to their finished width. Now the top of these panels, because they're in a boat, and very few things are square in a boat, these um, panels follow the shear of the boat. The shear is the line of the boat that you see when you look at the side of the boat, how it's swoopy. And we're not making it swoopy, we're making it straight, but it still has an angle on it. It goes from the deck all the way to the sole on a pipe. Now we're done with the, the braised panels and it's time to make the rails and styles. is only a quarter of an inch thick that the, our beading cutter made and the panel is still probably five eighths of an inch thick here so I need to remove the back and cut a rabbit around the outside of the panel.
fences are square to this to the shaper fence but that's not our situation here because we're cutting at a degree and a half bevel so we're going to have to align the butt end only with the shaper fence and that's that Is our stand out one of our styles? I've got an angle on top of it that I have to run in the um, shaper with an angle on it too. And let's make sure it closes up. It's just a little bit snug, but better snug than loose at this point. together, aligning, keeping everything aligned. Since I'm putting this last rail in, I'm trying to make sure that all the panels are still lined up where they should be and all the corners of the panels line up in the corners of the joints and there's no flat spaces, you know, none of the tongues are showing anywhere. At the end of the day, it's really great to be able to look down and see you've actually built something that's going to be around for a while, you hope. <laughs>